suburban life, everybody. What's going on YouTube? This is Raven Sky, Organic Kitchen Living. Consider subscribing to my channel. We got a nice playlist for everyone to uh, do a walkthrough on how to build one of these things. So the other day, um, we decided that we were going to get another pump for the grow tower. And I went ahead and pulled the old pump off, took it back to HD, and I ended up getting this pump here uh, 680 gallons and it's a 7.8 foot vertical pump and I think the other one was a 6 foot 280 gallon so it was actually not uh, yeah it, did, it just didn't push very much through there so yeah this is what I got here and actually it's a, a pond pump kit it was the only one available and it was uh, a little bit more expensive than the last one uh, not by a lot but it was a little bit and it came with a bunch of other components that I don't even need because I'm not building a pond as you can see and the rest of his stuff is here so basically the only two components that I needed from this were um, was this thing and the pump itself and I opted to put the uh, filter on here so the water will actually get sucked in through this which is good because that's actually kind of cool that will help with the filtration and then the other part was this and um so yeah i'm trying to learn how to put it together i had to uh, jerry rig a couple things this piece here is let's pretend this is the downspout where the water or the upspout or whatever you want to call it essentially uh this piece here um, we're popping on to the top of the pump and uh this little valve here this actually opens and closes this valve or this valve here. I'll take this piece out. So if we close this, then supposedly the water will not come out here. So we actually want the water to go vertical straight up. So that's the piece we're going to use here. If we wanted to shut this this part off, the water coming out from here, then we would. If I can do it with one hand, we would turn this that would stop the water coming from here and then right now the water stopped from coming out here so right now the whole mechanism is off so if we turn this back this way the water now goes vertical so what I did was um, the, uh, the irrigation tubing that I'm using is not necessarily the right size for this um, upspout so you can see it kind of fits in. It fits in actually really nice, but it doesn't uh, It doesn't actually stay in there. Because this pump, I know, is gonna would just pop this right out. So what I did is I used the Teflon tape and wrapped it around the irrigation uh, tube here as a, as a sample or um, you know, just a test. And it actually fits in there pretty decent. That fits in there snug, but I'm probably going to wrap this again. I think I wrapped it twice. Of course, I can't pull it out with one hand. Um, so yeah, I think we're gonna wrap this twice. And essentially, what I'm talking about, in case you're just joining in here, is uh, this pipe here. This pipe right here, I'm gonna have to wrap with. The, I'm gonna have to wrap with that Teflon, and then I'll push that into the pump, and then set the pump in here. And believe it or not, the pump actually fits. That pump, this pump actually fits inside of here, which I was kind of surprised because uh, as the pump is starting to get bigger, the uh, bucket is starting to get smaller. So you can see it fits right down in there. Got a little bit of space. Uh, for sure, if we took the uh, filter off, then the, uh, um, then the pump would still fit easily. So, uh, so yeah, the next on the list, I'm going to grab some more of this Teflon and we're going to wrap the uh, wrap that um, irrigation tubing that I just showed you and um, I'm gonna plug it in I guess that should be it uh, I did find unfortunately I did find a uh, another leak down here somewhere I'm gonna get copyrighted for that crap so this uh, I guess had a leak in it somewhere the other day when I had the pump running for five or six hours. Oh, and yes, the the timer does work. It goes on and off every 30 minutes. Um, let's see. 
and I actually set it to, there's a little setting here, that little clock. I know it says on, and then it's got that little clock, and I didn't read the instructions, but when I clicked it to that clock, it looked like it made it uh, work every 30 minutes. So, so yeah, I also used some of um, the cement glue that I had previously and put it on here in the cracks. I'm hoping that's gonna actually seal up whatever was dripping from there. And I think that's where the drip is coming from. I'm not entirely positive. So yeah, that's why it's uh, so important to, uh, when you're building that tower, that you've got to take your time and actually do it right. Use the priming, use the uh, priming um, solution and the cement in order to uh, put that stuff together. So next on the list, Teflon tape, and we're gonna go from there. All right, so check this out. Uh, I got the uh, the Teflon taping on that tube and I wrapped it three or four times and it looks like it popped on there pretty easily. And of course this is, um, you know, unless this isn't even gonna, uh, going to apply to you unless you bought the exact same pump. So uh, you should know that. But uh, yeah, this is just a, you know, just a mechanism for solving, a, solving an issue. So the, uh, I'm gonna set this camera right here. And uh, hopefully this pump will fit on there the way that it's supposed to. And then I've got to get it down into the water, which I'm not exactly sure. I may have to do this in the water. So I pumped, I set the pump down inside at the bottom, facing up obviously. And this portion here, this piece here, I'm gonna just turn it this way and I'm gonna to have to put it down in there in my, my hand. Let's see if I can get it to go on. Okay, so I got it on. It should stay pretty, yeah, it looks like it's gonna stay. All right. So you can see, we should be able to see anyways. Got that on there. You see it on there? So I've got that in place. Uh, I mean, it should be running now. All I gotta do is plug it in, see if it works. I got the pump back on, and it looks like there's a little bit of pumping pressure, a little bit of water coming out from somewhere. I'm not really sure where the water's coming out. A little bit's coming out from that, uh, from this, the, um, this piece here. So we're losing some of the, technically losing some of the pressure. So maybe if I plug this, my thumb in there. That's with my thumb inside the other the other hole, and if I let go of it, it doesn't really change the doesn't really change the output too much. Okay. Put it back in there. Maybe a little bit more, a little bit more output. Yeah, this little valve that that doesn't that doesn't work very well. It's supposed to like block the water from coming out. Yeah, that doesn't, that's kind of stupid. So let's go over here. This is the, the real test I wanted to see was how much water it was pushing through here. Come on. Well, it's definitely better. It's not great, but it's definitely better. It's pushing more water than the last one. 
I can I can tell you that. Some of the uh, little pots still aren't getting a whole lot of water. And yeah, some of them some of them are getting water and some of them are not getting as much at all. Like this one's not even getting that much. Interesting. We're definitely getting more water. We're getting at least twice as much water as we were before. So that's a good sign. Okay, I figured out why we have water coming out, um, uh, uh, back pressure coming out. Uh, the reason why we have so much water coming out of these two little, or whatever it is down here, is because the, the back pressure from going up this tube, this three quarter inch tube or three eighth or whatever, whatever it is, when it gets up to here, all it's got is this little tiny tube. So it's only being able to push the water through here. Oops. So, so basically the problem we have is that the water is coming up this tube here and then it's going into this tiny little tube. And so this is causing all the back pressure. So that's the reason why the uh, water's coming out of the pump in all the wrong places. But it's still working though. It's still pumping out a lot more water than it was before. Uh, quick update. So we do have a little bit of a leak right there. So I'm in fact using this stuff at the moment to uh, plug that up. So I turned off the pump and um, I'm going to apply some more of this, uh, more of this um, adhesive and uh, try to get it plugged up. So for now, I think, for now I think that we've got, I don't know, I still have to figure out how this is gonna work with the water. Some of this stuff isn't getting enough water. Ladies and gentlemen, I decided to put another drip tube in here. Uh, I just wasn't getting the kind of uh, flow that, I, that I'm looking for. Um, there's probably multiple reasons for it, uh, as I mentioned previously. And I think uh, the best option is just to go ahead and put another drip tube in there. So uh, I got one of these guys. I'm just gonna duplicate what I've already got for the most part. And I'm just gonna punch another hole in here I'm basically just drilling straight down and uh, if you hadn't seen the other videos maybe I can show you this real quick so um, so yeah when you take this off this top part then is there's just another one underneath of it and it's about a I don't know about an inch and a half down there so really all I'm doing is just uh, I'm gonna pop this in try to keep it the same as I can same as with same with the other one and line with the other one and I'm gonna drill a hole straight down through it I'm gonna plug this back in See how this works. We've got two of these in here now. Run all the way to the top. Same construction. You can see that. And we definitely got more water running through there. As far as I can tell. Let's pop this off and see what it looks like. Should have two drips going on at the same time. Yeah. For sure we got twice as much water now. That's a little bit more like what I'm what I wanted in the first place. I got another leak here again. That's right, this Gorilla Glue is kind of stiff as well. I'm probably gonna have to, uh... All right, mental note, everybody, don't use Gorilla Glue for anything when it comes to do with PVC piping. How about that? All right, so check this out, guys. I took the uh, grow tower and disassembled it really quick. It's actually really easy. Um, that part right there, 
which is the bottom. This is the bottom here. Oops. This is the bottom of the reservoir. I just have it turned upside down. It actually pops right out of this. I had to snip some of the um, zip ties, but that was pretty simple. It was just like three of them. I just unhooked these. It li literally took like 30 seconds. So um, this is where I'm getting all my drip from. And uh, I don't know exactly why there's just, it just wasn't sealed up right. I don't know how, how that is, but it is what it is. So um, I just, I took this apart so I can turn it upside down and I can let the uh, glue, I'm gonna use that, um, that glue that I've been using in the video to, I'm just gonna seal all this up real thick and just let it completely dry. And that should uh, keep it from leaking. Uh, I think, I think we're done. I, uh, I, I can't see any, that we need anything else. I went ahead and uh, filled this in with some of that uh, vinyl glue as well. So hopefully that doesn't leak anymore. Uh, we've got enough drip, we've got enough drip power now. I think I'm, I'm comfortable with this unless in the future um, I realize that something is not getting watered properly. We should be okay with that. Good morning, everybody. This is Raven Sky, Organic Keeps and Living, and uh, just doing a quick update on the uh, grow tower and the uh, timer that I let run for the last 24 hours or so. And uh, everything looks great on the uh, grow tower. I've got a lot of uh, water pushing through, which is good. I didn't put the uh, cheesecloth back on here. Um, I just have, I kept having to pull it off just every time I was doing a modification. So decided to let it uh, keep it off. I changed out the water. Uh, the pump seems to be working pretty well and it really wasn't that much more expensive than the last pump that I got, uh, maybe within $10. So that was actually a pretty good uh, investment. And uh, I get, I'm getting water through all of the, all of the pipes are getting water. Uh, the uh, two pipe drip system here, that seems to be working pretty well. Although I think in the, I think it worked well for this particular system. Now when I go, when I go and build the uh, garden outside, um, there's a good chance I'm gonna be doing, or building it a little bit differently. Uh, I'm kind of thinking that uh, when I build the tower outside or when I'm going to be using this pipe and it's going to run all the way to the top and then it's going to shoot this way about 30 feet or so and I'm going to have the water so it just drips right down in here right off this uh, three quarter inch pipe so I may not even have these so I'm just kind of thinking about the uh, future build I'm going to be doing here and how to improve this and whatnot. So really this is just our test grow tower, but uh, everything works now. So I think next on the list, we're probably gonna be jumping into the uh, rock will, and uh, I'm gonna introduce you to some of the uh, lettuce seeds that we're gonna be trying to grow and uh, kind of going from there. All right, everybody, I appreciate y'all stopping by. This is Raven Sky once again. Like and share if you would, appreciate it. Talk to you later.